Good morning. Welcome to Wake Up and Make Up. My name is Jennifer Wolsey, and I am your Facebook Avon representative. So we are going to do a quick makeup tutorial this morning and talk about ways to get things done. How about that? So um, the hair, it's growing out. It's getting longer. Not sure. I'm not. Li I'm not sure that I'm not liking it. So I'm not. We may leave it long. I don't know. Haven't made an appointment to go get my hair done yet. So we may just rock this long hair. What do you think? What's your opinions? <laughs> okay. So we have already gone in. Good morning, Angie. Welcome in. I've already gone in and done my skincare regimen. Have you done your skincare yet, Angie? I did my anti-pollution serum today and my Belief Aqua Balm to give myself a little bit of moisture in my face and then that de-puffing eye serum, take away those bags, and I added in this new jewel. It is our Brightening Eye Cream, eye Serum Cream. Oh my gosh, it's, it's awesome. Seeing brightness already around those under eye areas. Good morning, Sandra, welcome in. This is coming out next week. We're going to be so excited. Okay, so let's hop in and get our our makeup going. We are going to use our VDL Lima Layer today. It's grocery day. Yay! Once a week, I go to the grocery store. <laughs> I am not um, doing grocery pickup because I like to go in and I like to pick out my own stuff. Am I alone in that? Are you somebody... That doesn't mind and you're just gonna do the um, grocery pickup I mean I guess it's a preference I don't like somebody else picking out my groceries I think it's a cool concept I think it's a great concept but it's not for me so anyway I'm not doing that good morning Cindy okay cashmere complexion 24-hour wear we're using shade cannoli we did get out and get a little bit of Sun yesterday we went and did a little fishing I'm out at the lake and just kind of sat by the lake and enjoyed the fresh breeze. It felt so good. So what did you do this weekend? Share in the comments. Let me know what did you guys do this weekend. Um, so I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about getting things done. This seems to be a topic that has came up more and more as we are spending more time at home rather than out, you know, doing things that we normally do. <clears throat> and maybe you're getting back out to normal. Maybe you're not stuck at home anymore. Um, we are still practicing some self-isolation just to keep the boys safe. And we're getting out a little bit more than normal, but or, than we were. But we're still holding it down pretty, pretty close to the house. So I have been awakened to this amazing lady, Mel Robbins. How many of you have heard of Mel Robbins. So she is a, she's got like a radio show and she did a TED talk a couple of years ago about over, um, what is the word? Like overpowering your mind. So you know how like in the mornings whenever you, your alarm goes off and you hit snooze like 10 times and you're like, I don't want to get up. Sometimes it's about overpowering your mind versus just not wanting to get up. So in this video, she talks about how you can um, count to five. As soon as it goes off, count to five. One, two, three, four, five, throw the covers off and get up. And so it becomes something that you're doing automatically, not something, cashmere complexion and shade matcha for this under eyes. Um, not something you're having to think about. And so it's kind of true even like if you're doing housework or if you're building a business, sometimes you're going to be like, you'll be sitting there and you'll be like, okay, I really need to start my laundry, but I'll do it later. And you just put it off. And then you're like at the end of the day and you're like, crap, I did not get my laundry done. But if you will take on that one, two, three, four, five initiative, and as soon as the thought enters your mind, Count to five, one, two, three, four, five, get up and get it done. It's like a brain break is what they call it. Okay, so we just patted that in and got some concealer in there. Now we're doing Magic's Dust in, um, what is it? Setting powder. <laughs> Can't talk this morning. Anyway, 
it's cool. So I've, I've practiced the theory. I thought before I tell anybody this, I'm gonna practice this theory. So this weekend, it was raining Saturday, and all I really wanted to do was just hang out on the couch with my boys and watch TV, but my house needed like a deep cleaning. It just needed, you know when you just sit in your house and you're like, Ugh, I just need to like clean like my baseboards and my showers and my toilets and all the things. I'm not one that normally likes to do those things. Like, let me just uh, preference that. It's not my favorite thing in the world to do. But I was like, okay, I'm gonna do it. So I counted to five, one, two, three, four, five. And I got up and I started one task, started my laundry. It's like, when? Yay! <laughs> um, and then, you know, it's the same thing about your business. If you have a business, um, maybe you think, okay, I need to send out an email uh, to get this particular task done. And you, oh, I'll do it later. Or I need to call the bank to handle these finances, financial situations with my family. Or maybe I need to call the cell phone company and get them to fix my cell phone bill. I mean, who likes to call the cell phone company? Tattoo Station, I should have told you guys. I'm using Tattoo Station, our new, that is launched next campaign. It's coming out. Um, super awesome. This is shade brown black. I'm just filling in my brows. Not doing anything really extra. Just filling them in. Um, but you know, I mean, handle, handling business things around your house. Yep, need to motivate yourself. For sure. I mean, it's so easy to just sit on the couch and think, oh, I have all day long. I'll do that later. But then later never comes. And then you're like, crap. I never got that done. And so if you will take that stance of, you know, I'm going to do it. I'm going to count to five, one, two, three, four, five, get up, take care of it. You're going to get your bills lowered. You're going to get more business things accomplished that you haven't been doing. Mono pop eyeshadow palette. Get your laundry done. <laughs> For me, that was a big one this weekend. I was just so not motivated. So I'm mixing those two colors and we're going to go in here and just pat that in on the entire lid of the eye. But I think that, you know, some people are self-motivators. Some people are just like, you know what? I know it needs to be done. I'm gonna get up, I'm gonna get it done. That is not me. If that is you, shout out. <laughs> shout out to you. That is just not my jam. I am not a self-motivator like I should be. I'm gonna go in with the gold here. I'm gonna pick up that gold and a little bit of that brown. We're just gonna pat this out down here and bring it up in that arch. I'm not swapping, you can see I'm just patting. I'm just gonna do a little bit of a different look this morning, making kind of a V down at the bottom part of my eye. And then I'm just bringing it up in here. Okay, so just like my, my video, sometimes in the mornings I'm like, I don't want to put my makeup on, but I need to do a video. So this morning I was like, I'm gonna count to five, and I'm gonna get it done. I'm gonna go in now with this blush top color, and pick up a little bit of this lighter, and then I'm gonna bring that over the bottom. So this is a way that you can use this really highly pigmented um, palette and not have super bold eyes. If you think, oh Jen, those eyes are a little bit bold for me. You can actually just use this method and just pat it in. There you go. And get a little bit of a different look. What do you think? This isn't quite as bold as I normally do, but it's still subtle and it's still pretty. And then we're gonna use our super extend Precision liquid pen. I thought I would get so much done here. Didn't we all? Definitely. I thought for sure I'm going to be locked in this house for who knows how long. I'm going to get all the closets cleaned out and all the things done. And I see all my friends on social media that are like doing home remodeling projects. And I'm like, I'm just not that motivated. I have to count to five to get off the couch to do laundry. 
I mean, if you're that self-motivated, God bless you. And I think you should come hang out at my house and do some stuff over here if you're bored at your house. But, you know, I think some of us, are just not quite that self-motivated. So I want you guys to try this approach. It's pretty simple and you can look up the video. It's a TED talk actually. The speaker is Mel Robbins and she's got like a radio show. She's pretty well known I think. She's wrote a book about it. It's the one, two, three, four, five approach. And so it's just a way to kind of over overpower your mind that's telling you, oh no, you can take care of that later. You don't have to do that right now. And you just feel like sometimes it's like your mind is giving you an excuse or an out to not take care of things that you need to take care of in life. And then once you get things done, you feel so much more accomplished. You're like, oh, yes. I got all the laundry done today. I swept and mopped my floors. Got my showers cleaned. I got my tubs cleaned. All the toilets are clean. And it's like, yes success. <laughs> and I had to count five for each task, FYI. It wasn't like I counted to five and got my whole house clean. It was like I did one thing and I'd like, okay, let me rest for a minute. Okay, let's count again. One, two, three, four, five. And then you go get it done. So this week, my goal is to use this approach. I'm go I've got to call the cable company, the trash company, and the cell phone company and get some things worked out on those bills because I've let them go too long. How many of you hate changing cable companies or insurance companies because you hate all the paperwork? I just put it off and keep paying crazy prices because I don't want to do the paperwork. This week, it changes. This week, we're going to use this approach and we're going to take care of all the things. Um, cushion blush and shade coral and use it for your business. Maybe there's some things that you need to readjust for your business. Now is the time. Get it done. Make the phone call. Count to five and one, two, three, four, five. Get it done. I love that blush. In case I haven't told you guys, it's so easy. Just poke it and pat it. It gives you like a watercolor look on your face. So pretty. So pretty. Okay. Should we use respect? Match my mauve shirt or. Should we, you know what, since we went subtle on the eyes, we'll do a little respect. We'll add a little gold dust to it. How about that? I love this mattitude. For sure. One of my fades. Okay. Let it dry. It's going to dry matte. I'm just so tired. Sometimes I think the husband and kids tired. Right? They drain all of our energy. Same here, girl. I never thought I would still be changing diapers 17 years later, like Caden still wears diapers or dealing with medications. You know, he takes nine medications a day and Lucas takes two. And, you know, I never thought that I would still be dealing with those things 17 years later. So it, it sucks your energy just feeding you, feeding them over and over again. Yes, they do. Settle. Okay. I'm going to add just a little bit of my Glimmer Kiss and Gold Brush. It's going to get a little bit of an optical illusion. Okay, let me shut these eyes, let you get the look. What do you think? I think it works. And I've already blow dried my hair with my new cheap blow dryer. I'm telling you guys. This thing is freaking amazing. It has this little blue light technology that tells you when your hair is dry. Doesn't like over process your hair and it leaves it already straight and bouncy and full of life. I have those on my website and all of these products. So if you want to shop for these things, you can do so at your avon.com slash jwoolsey. I'll put that in the comments. And if you know somebody that needs these makeup tips or maybe they need that tip in life to get up, get off the couch and get stuff done, 
Share this video. Go check out that Mel Robbins YouTube video. I promise you will thank me. So let's count to five and go get things done today. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Go. We'll see you later. Bye, guys.